what happened interestingly in the movie was like you know the most heartbreaking part about it was the critics and the people who were just talking poorly about you just trying you were just trying your best in the moment to to do as best you could so how did you emotionally deal with parents believing you didn't belong and and the haters and it was it was hard for me to watch I, you know, it's funny, as you say this, it's coming back into my life now. I used to have people not believe I was blind and think I was just trying to get an unfair advantage. Because Crazy. Was like, you know, decent at this sport. And even in eighth grade, I, uh, at my championship match, I was losing 13 to three. It's like 30 seconds left or 45 seconds left. And we're on our feet. And I end up throwing the kid to his back and, you know, just, my my dad taught me he's like never give up till the end you know you never give up and so I I take that with me and it's like also my mom is like she she's one of the toughest people in in my life like in a in the best way possible like raised me in you know to be independent and and never give up and that kind of just translates over to everything I do and you know when I was loot I won I end up winning I throw this kid to his back and pin him the crowd goes crazy. I'm an eighth. I'm like 13 years old, man. I'm <laughs> so pumped, like you know. But like, not really showing it like that. I was always humble. Every time I won, I never like jumped or like you know did anything like that flashy. And I remember leaving the match, like leaving the mat. I just won like the whole championship in eighth grade. I'm so excited. The dad comes over to my dad and says, "Your son doesn't belong in this sport. It's unfair to my kid that he has to stay in constant contact." It's an unfair advantage. He should go into the Special Olympics. He should try some other sport. He does not belong here. And it was like, I remember being 13 years old and being like, how could you like take away all this hours and hard work that I put into something and and discredit it all to being an unfair advantage where we only have to stay in contact because I can't see you if we're not in contact. Trust me, I'd give you everything I could, everything I have in my life to be on the other end where I have to stay in contact with the blind kid and, and I'm the sighted person, you know, it's like, I understand that it could change, you know, because uh, like it could change someone's style a little bit because people in, in high school and things like that are used to like wrestling, like far away from each other. But if you study like any high, high level wrestling, it's like, they're always in constant contact and you always have to be in hand fighting and, and like constantly going. And it was just like, I remember being so pissed off, man. Like my dad, uh, like I learned in that moment, like we really need to forgive people like a little later on, obviously, like after I was able to cool off, but it, there's always going to be these like ignorant people in our lives and we just have to keep going. And it was just crazy. And so How did those, those haters, it, 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 I got to a point where we were just like laughing at them later on in high school, but like in the beginning, man, like that stuff used to really irritate me. Like I have good hearing, so like during matches, like coaches would say things that they know I could hear, but they would indirectly say it to me. And then it would get in my head and like, I would kind of like freak out or outlash, like lash out. And I had a little bit of a temper because I was like young and immature and like, you know, I'm dealing with all these extra emotions and, and, and growing up like teenager. And it was so much looking back, like it was so much to deal with that. Like all I wanted to do was wrestle, you know, and I deal with so much politics. <laughs> How did you and your family talk about those situations where you had to deal with people what what advice did you get from your parents or family in general or your, uh, your coaches they, they always said like you know you just have to laugh about it like you can't take this stuff to heart um there's gonna be people like that in your life all the time like my family's very tough like uh, we, you know we've been through a lot and we're we're all close and they've really been a help in, in my life through that those times but i'll tell you like there's been times where i almost thought i couldn't handle it and just being that young you know like looking back at it like you're at such a growing period in your life and like such an absorbing time where you're, like you're so influenced by the people around you and you have these like people saying all these like hateful things to you but then you know one thing that really helped me get through that as well is like for every like hateful comment there's like a hundred positive ones you know so you can't focus on the hateful ones <laughs>